Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we will see how and when to use JSON getter and JSON setter annotations provided by the Jackson library. So for this video I will be using the same example which I have used in my previous Jackson API videos. So for a recap in uh, this example uh, First, we have tried to convert a JSON string like this into the employee object. And in another example, we have converted a Java object into the JSON string. So for both of these examples, I have used this uh, employee model object which has first name, last name, designation, and age as the fields. So let's see using this employee uh, model, how and when we can use JSON setter and JSON getter annotation. So the standard convention for defining uh, the getter or a setter method for any model is we, for a getter method, we use get and then the field names. And similarly, for a setter method, we use set and the field names. But sometimes due to some uh, constraints or maybe we are using some other code which is not our, in our control, the, we might be using some uh, method as a getter method which doesn't follow this naming convention. For example, instead of this get last name, I have this find last name. Okay. So let's see if this is the case, then how it will impact our both the codes where we are converting a JSON string into the Java object and also in the code where we are converting a Java object into the JSON string. So first let's run our uh, code to convert a JSON string into the Java object. So you can see this code is uh, working fine. We are getting first name, last name, designation, and H. Okay, so there is nothing to be worried about for this code where we are converting the JSON string into the Java object. Now let's move to this code where we are converting our Java object into the JSON string. Let's run it. So friends, in this output, you can see it doesn't have last name. Okay. It has first name, designation and age, but not last name. So it is skipping the value of the field last name over here. So that is because now in our model class, we don't have any getter uh, method for the last name. So we don't have any method like get last name. Okay. So in that case, we can use the JSON getter annotation. So using that JSON getter, we can tell the compiler that this method has to be used as a getter for the field last name. Let's save it. So this annotation JSON getter is telling that this find last name method will act as a getter method for the field last name. So now let's again run our code. So now you can see last name is again appearing in our output. So I hope you have understand the use of JSON getter. 
this getter is actually uh, used to mark a method as a getter method for a particular field so this annotation will tell the compiler that we have to use this find last name as a getter method for the field last name now another condition which may arise is for setter method so in the same way like we have this set last name we might have a method with some other name maybe for example let's take map last name okay let's save it and now let's see what it will how it will impact both of our examples uh, but first we can see we are getting error in this file because now there is no set last name we will change it to the map last name and let's run first this code only where we will be converting the employee object into the json string uh, yeah so in this output we are having all the fields first name designation age and last name so i think everything is working fine over here let's move to the, our second code where we will be converting the employee json string into the employee object so here we are getting this exception let's see what it is it is unrecognized field name last name not marked as ignorable so it is not able to uh, recognize the field last name so how to solve this exception let's go to employee model again and to resolve this exception we will be using our json setter annotation and then as an argument we have to pass the field name let's save it and now we will again try to run this code so now you can see it is working fine we are getting all the fields also first name last name designation and age for all our objects so here we can we have seen how we can mark any method as a setter method using json setter annotation so this is how uh, we can use json getter and json setter method to define method as a getter and setter for any field i hope uh, this will help you please like my video and subscribe to my channel thank you